Look at that face. What I got in my Azure standard order this time. Please don't let him be on my seat. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to Misty Dawn Farm. It is cold this morning, y'all. It is cold. When I first woke up this morning, everything was frost. This is right now, currently, we're at the very end of November, and we usually don't get our first frost this early. And y'all, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it is freezing. We are not used to this, but it is still gorgeous. Um, so this morning, I haven't even done my animals or my chores or anything yet. Um, I scheduled a Walmart pickup for first thing this morning. So we're gonna go do that. And then when we come back, we're gonna feed the animals and things. They're all like, y'all, they were in their houses and stuff when I came out a minute ago because they're like, no, thank you. No, thank you. It was like um, 30, it was in the low 30s last night. So there's heat lamps everywhere and it's just hay and, and all kinds of stuff to keep, try to keep everybody warm because we're like, what is this? But anyway, okay, so let's start the day. We're going to run to Walmart pickup and then we will come back and feed some animals. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is right here is stop at the mailbox because I gotta drop off these Christmas cards to be mailed. I didn't do all of them yet. This is like the first batch and there's gonna be another batch because it, I'm sitting and addressing and and I don't have time to address all of them at the same time. So I did a batch and then I'm gonna mail these today and then I'm gonna do another batch and mail them tomorrow. I'm gonna go stick these in the box real quick. So I cut it and it was too small. And then, so I cut it again and it was too small. Cause it takes too long for them to drink it if it's too small. But you don't want to cut it too big or then they'll be like gulp, gulp, gulp and they'll like have drown themselves. So I was, what's well, okay kitty? So I was, I was cutting it and it was too small. Cutting it and it was too small. And then I cut it and it was too big. So she let me borrow some of hers. She has a whole bunch cut at different sizes. But anyway, and then there's also like a preemie baby bottle that, um, because Tobias was um, super tiny, tiny little thing. He was like 2.8 pounds at birth. Now, typically a Nubian Kiko type goat would be between five to eight pounds at birth. So he was really small. But that's understandable because his mama was very small because she was very young. But anyway, the point is, Miriam needs the nipples because, because, I'm going to show you the because in a little while. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll show you later. Not yet. She's not here. I'm just dropping these off real quick because I got to go. But later, I'm going to show you later.
feed Toto. Let's feed Toto. Okay, see. He's doing so good. He does so good. Yeah. Get on your nose. So, Toby is 19 days old now, and he weighed in yesterday at 9.8 pounds, which is really good for him. Like I was saying earlier, he was really tiny at birth, so he has put on a lot of weight. He now drinks six and a half ounces five times a day. Yes, he does, and he's doing really good, as you can see. I have a box in here. This cardboard box is full of hay and it's got two little holes cut out on each end so that he has hay available to him to nibble on. He's also got a little blue bowl in there with a little bit of water in it. Yeah, you like that? Now, I need to, y'all, changing these puppy pads is a constant job. A constant job, yes it is. And just like that, boom, he's done. See, that was so fast. And now he got a little milky mouth. Let me see. Hold on. Let's look. Look, he got milk on his face. Is that gum nom nom? <laughs> so, um, he, I'm not going to let him go outside with me this morning to feed up. Because I have, we came home. I put the cold stuff away. And now I've got to go feed the animals. But I needed to feed him first. He usually goes with me. Uh, but it's cold out there. It's really cold, cold. So he's gonna go back in his pen here because he just ate, so he's gonna have to potty. And then he'll be out and play later. We'll go play later. Yes. Okay. These little ones in here, feeding them. I took, I just took pickles out. Eagles. <laughs> Sorry, dear. She got food on her mouth. She took you here, trying to find her babies to eat. I put her in here the past couple of nights because it's been so cold and I just wanted her to help them keep warm. I'm gonna show you these guys though. So. I say these guys because I'm like this much certain that they are all roasters. There's like this much chance that, that there might be a hen in here. I told you so. I'm just saying. I told you so. So. Here's the do. Will it focus? Can you focus on it? There we go. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so he's got the little the little jaw jowls things here starting already. Oh, oh. Annabelle's getting nice little chicken feet here. Hang on. Annabelle! Okay. And his feathers are you doing the uh Thing. Why? Come on. I 
know, honey. Roosters. They haven't been with Pickles. She's been in with the babies. And now they all think they need to jump on her at the same time. Sorry, honey. You want to go back with your babies for now? Okay, hold on. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry, go back in there, Mama. Go back in there. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so his male Polish, their feathers go like this, and the girls just floof all over, and the girl and the males just like, kind of like. You've seen Fern, okay? Fern is what they do. Fern is the daddy. So I'm seeing feathers that lay back. So, this one is boy. Don't knock that off, Annabelle. And this is the end of another one. We've got the little things starting here, which to me, when they start this early, I've seen it looks like a rooster to me. We've got the feathers on the head doing the swoop back thing. This is another one that I thought was a male anyway to begin with because of I explained the goblet style versus the round style floof fluff on their heads to begin with. Annabelle, can you get down? Please get down, honey. Annabelle, get down. You're you're messing up my stuff here. Okay. So, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come here. Come on. Oh, man. Are you okay? Annabelle. Is it broken? Okay, I think you're all right. Okay, so this is the one that I was thinking was a girl. But I'm looking at it and I'm seeing the start of the little waddles. That's the word, not jowls. Waddles. They're called little chicken waddles. Completely different than pig or goat waddles. But right on the other side of the mouth here. And look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> but anyway, see the feathers on the back, how they're laying down in the back like that? This is leading me to think rooster on this one. Also, also, the feathers, the bottom feathers, coming all the way back past the butt. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then, then, okay. that by the way was Mojo and Curly. This is Bob Ross, okay, Bob Ross. And as you can see, he's, his, he's gotten a, the feathers on his head is starting to grow and floof a little bit. You see the size of the comb that he's already developing here? Okay. Um, um, all the things like the, the, the bottom of his wing feathers are extending all the way to the back. Just his general size, his foot size, which you can't tell on camera, but he's got big feet. So, this one I'm thinking is a rooster. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, and then the last one is the one I was going to call Patsy. Um... So, I wasn't sure which egg this was. Well, he, and I say he because look at the size of the comb on this guy. And he's got the start of the waddles. He's got a decent comb already. He's got the, the wing length and the, the big feet and everything. Um, this guy, as you can see, right here, 
when a chicken is part Polish, they'll have a tiny crest like Winifred does. Um, Winifred is in that chicken tractor and she's half and half. She's half Polish, half Easter Egger, and she's got just the little crest in the center part and she's golden laced. And so when you have half and half with a full Polish, I had expected to see more of a crest. That's why I did not think this one came from that chicken tractor, but those are my only crested chickens is in that tractor. So this guy obviously came from there. This must be Winifred's. He's got the starting a little, he's gonna have the fluky crest and it's dude. So Patsy, I'm gonna call him Pat. So Pat here is, uh, yeah, he's looking dude to me. Really pretty though. I mean, they're all, they're all cool looking. But I am, like I said, there's my certain, they're all roosters. Yay me. All right. And we're gonna see if we can feel some babies move. So with goats, it is lunch on the left and rugrats on the right. So they carry their rumen, their they're on the left side and the, the babies on the right side, which obviously as they get farther along, they, the babies are, are not just solely here, but this is where you should be able to feel them. Typically you can't feel them until they're about three months along, is what they say. I haven't been able to feel anything yet. I keep trying. Sorry, I just want to feel babies. Why do you have chicken mess on your belly? Did the chicken ride you and poop on you? I felt something. Hold still, Mama. I want to feel it again. Hang on. Hold on, Willow. 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 Stay here. Be still. I feel something. Come on now. Let me feel your belly. Batman says, You can squeeze my belly. That's okay. I will let you hug and squeeze me. Do you see me hugging Batman? Are you gonna get jealous and come back? No? She said no. Excuse me, I'm eating. Don't care. Here's your feet. Okay. I'm gonna reach, I know. She doesn't like it when I reach under her belly. Come here. Madam. Come here, madam. My word. Oh, what is your deal? What I've seen is when they reach up under the belly and then pull it from there, but she doesn't like it when I reach under her belly. She has boundaries. She doesn't like that. She never has. She didn't grow up here. <laughs> okay. She didn't grow up here. She's five and I got her about 
when did I get you, Willow? It was the beginning of June of this year, June of 2023. And so, um, June, July, August, September, October, November. We're, we're six months, starting seven months with Be Nice, um, with her. So, I don't know exactly if she was like, I don't know if she was bottle raised or hand raised or she just came as a milker. She absolutely hates being milked. I mean, she likes eating. She just doesn't want her bag touched. She never has adjusted to that well. So I have to tie her legs when I would milk her. And she just, I mean, it doesn't take very long. It's only a couple minutes. She's, she's fine. I say she absolutely hates it. She just, like when she's not on the stand, hi. When she's not on the stand, um, she won't let me touch her bag. And she doesn't let me touch her belly either. What do you got a runny nose for? Is this cold weather giving y'all a runny nose? Batman. Okay. Anyway, I think this cold weather is giving them runny noses. But I think I felt a baby. One time. One little whoop that felt like a baby. I want to do it again. Feel your belly one more time. I'm not having this woman. Whatever. So this sweet girl has a new home. Well, I knew she's had a new home, but she's got a new name. This is Miss Luna. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hi, Spooky. Hi, Spooky. Babies, they're so beautiful. So, this is Miss Luna. Hey, baby, you want belly rub? Okay, okay, there we go. There we go, yeah. Hang on, I gotta hold the camera different. There we go. Look at her face. Oh, she's so precious. She's so precious. So, Miss Luna here, and then. I'll show you the other one. I'll show you the other one. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Oh baby, baby, baby. There she is. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, hi, sweetie. Okay, so. Oh, hey, little britches. Hey, little britches. Okay, so this one here. This was Spice. And her na name is now... Goldie, because obviously, look at that gorgeous golden color. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. So Luna and Goldie will be going to their new home very shortly. Very shortly. Now this one, this is the one that's sweetie. This is the one that um, had been claimed, but then something came up and... They are going to delay a piglet until I have a spring litter. So, Miss Sweetie here now does not have a home. And she is the one that I was considering keeping. Or that I was going to keep. And then decided not to. And then now she doesn't have a home again. I'm like, well, you know, maybe... Maybe that's because she needs to stay here. Do you think so? Do you think so? When um, Courtney came yesterday to pick which girls she wanted, she ended up picking this one and this one. And she could have picked this one. And she didn't pick this one. And this one was my favorite. She's the tri-colored. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you know, y'all, I think that means that it's God's plan for her to stay here. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to go back and look at all your name suggestions on the past video. Oh, my goodness, Miss Luna. Look at you. You're just so beautiful. Look at her nose, y'all. Isn't that cool? That's just so cool. 
my friend who is going to be getting her and Goldie, she, I think one day she's going to start her own YouTube channel. She should. And then you will get to see these two girls. Absolutely. Yes. Until then, um, she does have a Facebook page and an Instagram page. So the home where Miss Luna here is going and Miss Spice over there is going, I will share a link to her Facebook page so that y'all can see the these sweet girls grow up. Yes, they're gonna be so precious and then they're gonna have their own babies. Yes, they're gonna be so loved. Yes, and then this one, what I was saying was, I'll go back and look at the name suggestions, but I'm pretty sure I remember a couple that I liked. I'm not gonna say them yet. I'll go back and see. Oh, look at this lighting. This is where you can see her, her colors. She's got the ginger through her. <laughs> what are you doing, sweetheart? What are you doing, sweetheart? Um, but, so, this little girl, her daddy is Luigi, and her mama is Peaches, obviously, and so that means that her husband would be Domino and possibly Barney, y'all. Barney is, most of you know Barney. Barney is the runt from Loretta's litter that I kept here and he's always been smaller and slower and he had health issues and things. Um, he is doing fantastic. Actually, we'll walk over there and see him in just a minute. Um, but y'all, he's acting like a boar. He's acting like a boar now. I didn't think he'd really fully develop and do any boar type things. But y'all, oh my word. He's like worse than <laughs> Luigi and Domino. <laughs> he is all about the boar life. So, I mean, I don't. I I don't know if I would actually use him as a boar or not. I might try it just one time and see what happens. See what kind of, you know, genetics and stuff come out of that. Um, but, yeah. Barney is acting like a little boar. <laughs> Let's go see him. Okay, so, come here, Barney. Come here, Bonbon. Come here, Bonbon. Come here, Barney. Oh, look here. Look here. Come on here further. Can you come further? Look at this guy. Oh my goodness, look how big he's gotten. This is Barney. He's a Barney. Oh my goodness, Barney. Oh my goodness, Barney. Come here, Bonbon. He's got a, he's cleaning up the crumbs from breakfast. All right, but, come here. Yo. You don't have to get every single tiny little itsy bitsy morsel. It's okay. So, hey Luigi. So Barney, he's gonna come back over here in a minute. Barney, no Domino, don't do that. <laughs> Y'all look at this giant right here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> There he is. There he is. So, anyway, Barney is Ben. He was Loretta's son, and I had him and I had Theodore, his brother, here. Now, Theodore um, went to live at another farm, which, y'all, as soon as this other farm where Theodore went has their farm page or and or their YouTube established, then I'm going to share that here because they have a beautiful place. And Julie is gonna be doing the farm page YouTube stuff, um, which is great. It's gonna be awesome. And I will share that here as soon as they have that. But, and then you'll get to see Theodore. But um, Barney, Theodore's little brother, is here still and he's staying here and he's getting so big. Come here, Barney. Come here, Barney. See y'all look. Every tiny little crumb. They will spend like an hour or two out here. 
trying to get every single little bit. <sighs> yes, they will. So, anyway, that's Barney. He's getting big. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Aren't you, baby? Aren't you a big boy, baby? So You're so blood. So Barney here is waddled, and Domino is waddled. Luigi doesn't have any waddles, and the last litter I had was Peaches and Luigi. Peaches doesn't have waddles either, so that's why none of those babies have waddles. But both Barney and Domino have waddles. Come here a minute, look. See waddles and waddles. See your face, look at that face. Look at that face, sorry. I know. Go ahead. Keep eating comes. So, um, and Andy has waddles. So, Andy Domino Babies is what is my next planned litter. So, that will be a waddle litter most likely. And then, um, if I keep Sweetie, which I think I'm going to do, and change her name to something else. I'll get to that later. Um, and then pair her with either of these two young boys. They would have a chance of having waddles too. Because they both, both these boys have waddles. When I had Gus Gus here, Gus Gus was waddled. And um, he threw all waddled babies. Almost every time. I think I might have had like one, one time that didn't have waddles. But... They were all waddled babies. So, not that it matters. Waddles mean nothing. They're just cute. Anyway, Luigi doesn't have waddles and he's still super handsome. The waddles don't matter. Not really. Look at his size, y'all. Look at his size. Compared to Barney and Domino. I was gonna get the scale out and weigh him and I never got around to it, but I'm still gonna do it. I still wanna weigh him. I'm very curious as to how much this big boy weighs. I need to get weights on everybody again. Everybody's growing so big. Okay y'all, the jacket and the beanie have come off. It is now, I think the high today was 71. Um, so it's fairly warm outside now and we are back in the vehicle again because I have to go get an Azure Standard pickup. So we're going to go do that and then on the way home from that we're going to run by Miriam's to pick up some goat's milk for Toby and because I want to show you something else there. Another little adorable thing and we have Toby with us. Toby's going to ride with us today. Dope, dope. He's sitting in Abby's lap over there. So, let's go get our Azure Standard order. Okay, y'all. We have picked up our Azure Standard order. We are headed now to uh, Miriam's. I gotta go pick up some milk and I'm gonna show you what I said I was gonna show you before. Um, but, that was quick and easy. The Azure Standard pickup usually is, a lot of times the truck is early, like more often than, than not, the truck is early. Um, this time it was just a few minutes late, but it's but it's so easy and everybody always helps, like it gets unloaded so fast and like Julie had everything all organized and like with everybody's names so that when you grab something and you unload it, you just put it in everybody's piles and it's really quick and easy. and. So we got our stuff and met some new friends and now we are on the bypass about to get off and head back to the house. It's like the drop for this Azure Standard is just not far down the road from where I live, like seven minutes maybe, maybe that. So, and we have Toby in the back, let Toby say hi. Dope, dope. Please don't let him pee on my seat, okay? Kind of hold on to him so that doesn't happen. Toby met some new friends too. 
He said hi to the people and the children. Okay, so let's go to Miriam's and show you some more adorableness. Hi, baby. Oliver. You are so cute. You are so cute. So this is Oliver. He is two days younger than Toby, right? Yes. Yeah, he's Toby's half brother, same daddy. He's born on the 14th. Okay, Abby, walk, him, walk Toby over there. Let's see the size difference. He is a big boy. He's so pretty. <laughs> in my Azure standard order this time. Um, this is an organic chocolate Paula Crisp cereal. I get some cereals and of course it's a whole month. So they go through these boxes pretty quick. Three kids go through all the boxes and then that's it. And they don't have any more cereal again until the next time. But it's like a little treat for them. Um, I got some pumpkin seeds. I got a French vanilla almond uh, granola. This is really good. It's really uh, sweet and sugary. It's got like, it's milled cane sugar, um, honey. It's, it's, it's good sweet, but it's, it's still really sweet. Um, I got them some Yum or Earth Organic Vitamin C lollipops. I got light brown sugar. I got some a little bit of oats in the bottom of this. Organic yellow mustard and ketchup. And um, the only cheese that was in stock this time was the mozzarella cheese. So I take this and then I'll cut it up into three or four sections. And then I bag those in a freezer bag. I keep one out and then the others I bag and put in the freezer so that this lasts me. So there's that. And then I got one other box and I think this is just the other kids cereal. Pretty sure, because I ordered two kinds of cereal. I think that was all that I ordered. Yep. But I think, yeah. So, this one. So, um, once again, the organic chocolate chips was out of stock. My cheddar cheese was out of stock. What else? Oh, I got a 25 pound bag of flour also. It's down there on the floor. Um, but yeah, that's what I got this time. And yes, sometimes things are out of stock and it's unfortunate, but it happens and that's okay. So that was what I got this time. Okay, y'all. 
First of all, I forgot to say this a minute ago before I unloaded my Azure Standard stuff. Was that not one of the cutest little bucklings you ever saw? Oh my word. Um, like I said, his name is Oliver and he's Toby's half brother. So they have the same dad, they're from the same farm. A moment of chill, please. So anyway, they have the same daddy, Patches. So they are both moon spotted and they are both gorgeous. And like I said, Oliver is a couple of days younger than Toby, but Toby was, I explained all that. Anyway, anyway, it is now evening and I have to feed up again. It's actually not as late as it feels, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed up a little bit early. I think it's only like 4.30 or something, but they think it's time to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. Yes? You ready? Okay, let's do it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.